Welcome to CryptoCoin Investor. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Litecoin and I'll be discussing the Litecoin USD pair as well as the Litecoin BTC pairs. So what you're looking right now in front of you, this is the weekly chart of the Litecoin USD pair on the Poloniex Cryptocurrency Exchange. I'm using Poloniex Cryptocurrency Exchange because it offers um, maximum amount of history compared to other cryptocurrency exchanges. So um, back in the previous videos, uh, the video that I made uh, in the November, December, I said that once we are able to flip the $60 area, uh, our next target to look out for would be $90. And then I expect the Litecoin to, you know, hover between the um, $90 range and the $188 range. And we touched $88 um, a couple of weeks back. And then the correction started and we touched $105 on the Polonia Cryptocurrency Exchange. Uh, but we have bounced back strongly uh, mainly because the bitcoin dominance is now going down and the money is now flowing into you know altcoins like ethereum and litecoin you can confirm this by checking the ltc dominance chart um ltc not nyce ltc dominance chart on trading view so this is a litecoin dominance chart you can see that we have started we have flipped to the green side uh, last year and now the litecoin is queuing up more and more uh, percentage of the total market cap of the cryptocurrencies right now it is around one percent and to give you an idea back in um december we touched nearly four percent of the total cryptocurrency market cap now granted there are more coins out there but um, a lot of uh, money has started flowing in from all the small coins back to the boring coins like ethereum litecoin monero um and you know dash and so on so uh, the money is now flowing into large caps especially the boring caps and these all of these coins are available on coinbase so pretty much uh these coins have access to the retail so um we have now crossed one percent on the dominance chart so what are my targets for the litecoin usd pair let's open the litecoin usd here so this is litecoin usd uh in the previous video i said that we need to flip the 190 dollar area for support and we have touched this area back in 2018 as well so uh, i knew that we won't be able to cross this in one go so we touched it once we may make a double top and then we you know uh, we will be able to surpass this level on maybe on the third time and after that we will directly visit our previous all-time high uh, which is at 381 dollars so we will see a massive jump in price once we are able to flip the 190 dollar for support so almost you can you can in terms of usd you can nearly double your money pretty much you know it's very easy to double your money uh once we are able to cross 190 dollars as support so would i suggest shortening litecoin right now on the larger time frames like the weekly i won't suggest you know shorting litecoin especially when the money has started flowing from the uh, bitcoin to other altcoins this is further seen on the bitcoin dominance chart btc.d here you can see that the since the 28th december the money has been flowing out from bitcoin to other altcoins this is this can be seen on the ETH BTC pair as well, which has started pumping on 28 December 2020. So it's all working like clockwork. You can also see that on Litecoin, but Litecoin is lagging. But now that the Ethereum, Bit the Ethereum Bitcoin has started pumping, uh, the next altcoin will be Litecoin. Generally, I would say the money used to flow into Ripple as well, but given the fear around it, I don't think many people, especially the retail, which is incredibly uh, fear driven i don't think they will be uh, entering ripple so more money will be allocated for litecoin and i think uh, we will see massive massive pumps in the coming weeks for litecoin so things are looking pretty good for the litecoin so uh i've already told you my target for the litecoin usd pair my next big target is 380 dollars of course they're a little leveled here and there so for example i can say 255 dollars is a resistance level because we have touched this level many times in the past like three times in a row maybe four times so this can be a level to watch out for so if you want to play around with your litecoins what you can do is once we are able 
I would wait for $190 to act as support. So once we have crossed $180, what I can do is I can sell a bunch of my Litecoin at $255 and then I can again buy it at around, you know, around $200 just to be on the safe side. And if you want to play super safe, you can buy back around $222. You can sell, let's say, 1,000 Litecoins at $255 and you can buy back around $218, $220 without doing anything on leverage. So if you want to play on the safe side, this is what you can do. And I do this on all the time. I mean, in Ether I was playing with Ethereum pair a lot today. Uh, what I did, I sold a bunch at, you can see that I was playing in the small time frame. Let me remove that. And what I did, I sold a bunch at $1,422 and I bought all of it back at around $1,403. So I, I was playing around with a large sums of money. So the profit margins were pretty good. So yeah, so look out for a Litecoin. Um, my two targets right now are uh, do $190 and after that $255 after that $385 is my final target for the current wave and I think we will definitely touch somewhere around $250 for sure during this wave okay so uh, on the Litecoin BTC pair uh, this pair uh, is very important basically it tells you how the Litecoin is faring against the Bitcoin so um, if it is not faring good why not just hold Bitcoin right yeah, if this pair is for those who want to increase their Bitcoin holdings, and I am one of those, I believe if you believe in Bitcoin, um, this is the pair you should watch out for. So this is the Litecoin BTC pair, and the white line that you see here, this is the 21-day moving average, and, and it acts as support if you are above it, and it acts as a resistance if you're below it. And you can see that um, it is now acting as a resistance because we are below it. That said, next next week uh, I'm expecting, or maybe this week, if we are able to close above this white line. Um, I'm expecting Litecoin to pump and uh, given the way the MACD is looking right now, we will be pumping and I'm expecting it to touch this level which I have indicated in the past as well. Uh, this level 0 0.005, we must uh, close above this level and once we are able to do it, um, Litecoin will start pumping very nicely. Let's take a look at the monthly chart, it gives us a much broader view. Oopsie. Okay, let me remove it. I mean, Okay, so this is the monthly chart of Litecoin and you can see that on the MACD, uh, we are about to flip to the green side and I think next month we will flip to the green side. Uh, once we do so, we can see that the 21 day moving average is at 0 0.006. So I'm expecting Litecoin to touch this level next month and uh, we will see a sharp rejection and maybe then we can come down and you know stay above 0 0.0056. So uh, I am uh, definitely expecting Litecoin to um touch this level next month so 47 percent in terms of bitcoin gains and that's a lot of money to be, there's a lot of money to be made on litecoin so no need to play around with the you know the the um a small old coins out there or the untested crypt blockchains just go for the good old boring litecoin you can buy it on every exchange there are tons of ways to cash out so yeah watch out for litecoin so 0 0.005 First target, second target 0.206 next month. If we are somehow able to close above it, 0.007, then 0.008, and after that, my final target is 0.011 for this wave. So yeah, that's all about it. Hope you found this video useful. Stay subscribed for more price analysis. Bye bye.